जय हिंद एवरी वन माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर अजय प्रताप सिंह एंड आई एम वर्किंग एज एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग एंड एट अजय कुमार बैंक कॉलेज गाजियाबाद एंड टूडे आई टीच यर द ओटेक एनर्जी ओशियन थर्मल एनर्जी एंड यू कैन से पार्ट ऑफ यू कैन से द रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी रिसोर्सेज एंड इट्स टीच इन द बी टेक फाइनल इवेंट इन अजय कुमार बैंक कॉलेज so the subject could the koe 074 in the today lecture i'll discuss uh, the following things so we can today the lecture will discuss uh, the introduction to the otec energy how the otec energy is working then uh, the selection of the plant and location how to otec energy allocation then the close uh, different type of the otec system like uh, you can say the open uh, cycle or the closed cycle So I'll discuss the open cycle, then closed cycle, then what is the performance analysis of the OTEC system, and last one is the OTEC energy merits and demerits. So today we can discuss the only the the six topics. So today we discuss the OTEC energy. So you can say the OTEC energy uh, you can find out. These are the some picture you can see here. Uh, you can see that is the cold water intake is there. The temperature is the uh, five degree centigrade. Uh, you can say the ocean depth is near inside the 3000 feet you can hear the mixed water the temperature is the 16 degree centigrade the, the, the 330 feet and the third one is the warm water intake the temperature is 25 degree centigrade at the 16 feet in the ocean depth and the offshore otec of futures you can say that the one system is there and you can see uh, the generation of the electricity from transfer of this Water to one phase to another phase, and after that we can say the the we can say this energy is transferred. So we can use this, and you can see here there is the power station. So the power of the some uh, one uh, power station is there. So this energy, how the energy transfers from this uh, cold water to hot water during this, and which type of the form is created. So during this, I will discuss one by one. so uh, we can say uh, in otec energy uh, you can say the warm surface uh, water is uh, pumped through uh, uh, an evaporator containing and the working fluid second we can say that the vaporized fluid drives uh, through the turbine and the generator and the vaporized fluid uh, uh, is turned back uh, we can say to uh, liquid into the condenser uh, cooled and then the cold ocean water pumped from uh, the deeper in this uh, the ocean so the otec system uh, using the sea water uh, as uh, you can say the working fluid and can be used to the condense of the water to produce the desalinated water so we can say uh, the otec system using of you can say in this otec energy ocean thermal energy uh, system you can say or using uh, uh, the 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 we can say the phase of the water basically the cool to uh, hot or we can say hot to come to this and condense and then come from the water again so in the otec energy you can say uh initially we can say uh, in this the water temperature difference between the warm and cold layer must be at uh, the least uh, 20 degree difference and uh, as the ocean goes away uh, from the land it create a slope uh the le leading to the deep water that is uh, we can say the warm on the top and the cold to the deep in the sea level you can see uh, you can see in the uh, figure here uh, that is then the low level you can when go to the inside so cold water is there right and there is a cold water in that you can say the 5 degree centigrade uh, that uh, case of the 3000 feet inside the deep. deep right and the hot water you can say that is 25 degree centigrade and uh, that is we can say the ocean depth is only the 60 feet so when go inside uh, and as you, and you can see in terms of the slope you also so you can go inside so through the land so these are the land phase and inside you can say that is uh, go to the deeply in the in terms of the slope so so uh this is a perfect place uh, for the ocean thermal energy uh, conversion process and the different temperature between the two layers of the ocean are very common in the tropical climates 
so and these uh, area make uh, the perfect location for the otic uh, plant to be effective and efficient so we can say the ocean thermal energy the conversion can be done using the several different system when the different different system so uh, there are uh, three of the most common method of, of the otic system of process are to closed cycle system or the hybrid cycle system and third one is the open cycle system so uh, the ocean are the uh, vast renewable resources we can say and uh, with the uh, uh, then the potential to help us to produce the billions of watts of the electricity or you can say electricity power. So the potential is uh, we can say uh, is eliminated to be uh, about you can say the 10 to power 3, 13 watt to based load power or generation according to some expert. So we can say that is you can generate uh, the, uh, or the potential in the OTEC energy 10 to power 13 watts at the base of base load power generation and there are high high uh, capacity or you can say the high value of uh, uh, we can say uh, the potential to generate the electricity in the cold we can say the deep sea water used in the OTEC process is also rich in nutrients and can be used to culture both we can say the marine uh, organism and uh, we can say the plant life near this uh, we can say near the shore on the land so all otic plants required we can say uh, are expensive and large diameter like intake pipe which is somewhat in the kilometer or more into the ocean depth to bring a uh, very we can say the cold water to this surface so there are uh, these are some uh, basic inside we can see find out uh, the different type of this uh, at the lower level you can find out the uh, some uh, you can the plants so you can some the some uh, expensive uh, uh. so when coating plant uh, required uh, basically you can say uh, during this uh, find out the location of this otec uh, power plant design location so depending first one is the depending on the location so first one you can say in, in that case the land base and near the shore facilities. So, in case we can say that the land base and near the shore facility offer the three main advantage over those located in the deep water. Plant constructed or near the land do not require sophisticated mount, mount, morning lengthy power cables, or we can say, uh, or we can say the extensive maintenance associated with this open ocean environment second thing is that they can be installed in settled area so that they can we can they can relatively save from the storm and the heavy sea right so second is you can say that is uh, the self based plant so self based plants it uh, self mounted plant uh, could be built uh, in a shipyard uh, uh, towed to uh, the site and fixed uh, to the sea bottom uh, or you can say that this type of the construction uh, is already used up for the offshore uh, during these oil rings. Third one we can say the, the additional problem of the o operating on uh, an OTEC plant in the deep water however uh, we can make a maybe make a self mounted facility uh, less describer and more expensive that, than they are the land based counterparts third one is this location it depends upon the floating plant so these plant is floating on this water so the floating water facility could be designed uh, to operate offshore and we can say this type of plant is more uh, difficult to stabilize, uh, stabilize and the you can say uh, the difficult of mourning in a, a very deep sea or the deep of water may be create uh, create the problem uh, with the power delivery from one place to the another place so we can say the open cycle otec system uh, or open cycle ocean thermal energy conversion uh, system has merit to use uh, uh, heat exchangers 
uh, of direct contact type of uh, type without a heat transfer tube. Okay. Second thing, therefore, we can say it is expected to the capital cost are used to overtake is reduced by use of this simply design of the heat exchanger. So, design of the heat exchanger is a very, very important. And this type of, you can see here, that is the uh, heat exchanger of the direct contact type without the heat transfer in the tubes, right? So, however, non-condensable gas is released uh, in this system uh, uh, because in the uh, direct uh, contact evaporator and the steam driving a turbine to generated by surface sea, water including air and existing air cause a uh, reduction of system performance. From we can say the EVO point of view, uh, we can carry out uh, an experiment uh, study on the operating characteristics and the effect of the structure of uh, we can say a heat exchanger and uh, the existence of non-condensable gas on uh, the performance of a direct contact heat exchanger in a experimental operators of, of you can say so is the uh, uh, barometric type OC OTEC system. So in open cycle, open system, you can say that is the OTEC uh, use uh, warm surface water directly to make electricity and the warm sea water is flushed, evaporated into the uh, low pressure uh, uh, contained uh, container uh, to uh, which uh, cause in to the boil. It in some scheme, the expanding steam drives a uh, low pressure turbine attached to an uh, electrical generator. So you can see here for the here that is the ocean inside. These are the ocean here inside. Uh, these are the ocean. These are the warm water inside, right? To the evaporator, go to the turbine, evaporate. Then after that, that steam turbine is rotated through uh, the steam water. So that turbine is rotating. And after that, the turbine uh, uh, shaft is connected to the alternator and here you can generate the electricity. And after that, exit of the turbine, you can find out here for the condense of the, uh, the exit of the turbine with the uh, evaporated uh, water. So come to the condenser and condense inside and go to this deep up to the oceans. And you can see here that is the unwrapped unevaporated wa water from the deep ocean in, into a condenser. So basically we can say here again the steam is converted to the in terms of water here right. So and go to the ocean. So that is the heat again you can say the warm water inside right the evaporated and after that the steam turbine is there that the, the, the energy are used and steam is rotated steam. So you can say that is the transfer of energy to one place to another place and another place to the third place. So we can say the hydraulic energy, uh, the steam, we can say the steam energy come to the turbine and then here the hydraulic, uh, we can say the turbine energy, it can convert to the mechanical energy and mechanical energy go to the electrical energy. This type of the energy is generated through, this an exit of this turbine, you can say that the condense in this, the, come to the condenser. So, open cycle system, you can say that the open cycle system is steam, warm water, uh, warm uh, sea water is in the working fluid and the warm sea water is flash evaporated in uh, the vacuum chamber to produce the steam at an uh, absolute pressure of about the 2.4 kilopascals. Uh, then steam, we can say the expand through the low pressure turbine that is coupled to the generator uh, to produce electricity and the steam existing the turbine in, is uh, condensed by the cold sea water uh, pumped from the ocean depth uh, through the cold water pipe and if a surface condenser is used in the system the condenser steam remaining the separated from the cold sea water and provide the uh, supply uh, of you can say the distillated water so these are the process of this open uh, uh, cycle system so come to the closed cycle system. So in the closed cycle system, uh, we can say the low boiling liquid such as uh, furon or on the ammonia in the uh, the working fluid are used, and the fluid is evaporated. You can say here you can using the furon, furon, or uh, we can say that is ammonia. Ammonia are used uh, for the low boiling liquid, 
and this fluid is evaporated using the warm surface sea water and after the vapor drives in the turbine it contains by the cold sea water and this condens uh, condensate the pumped back to the evaporated so we can say the heat transfer of the water having the temperature to 27 degree to 30 degree centigrade it transfer to the evaporator and we can say the warm water uh, warm surface water vaporized ammonia ammonia vapor produce the work while the expanding in this turbine so in the closed system in the otex system we can say uh, working fluid with the low boiling point such as you can say the um, ammonia or propane is circulated to uh, circulated through uh, pipe and the warm surface uh, sea water is uh, pumped through the uh, heat exchanger uh, where the working fluid is vaporized and during uh, you can say driven through the turbine basically and which uh, generates the electricity and again the cold deep uh, sea water is uh, the pump uh, pump through the uh, secondary heat exchanger where uh, the working fluid vaporized the condensed back into the liquid and recycled to the ocean system so you can see here that is the closed system uh, closed uh, cycle system and you can say the closed cycle system are used the full uh, uh, fluid we can say uh, for low boiling point such as ammonia and ferron uh, 12 bar of the butane, uh, butane so we can see here the warm water again right the warm water the operator steam turbine surface of the discharge you can say it doesn't enter. In, in in the open cycle you can see that the these portion is not connected to this only here that the condenser is there and then condenser operated the uh, cold water inside and after this go to the ocean so these are only process but in that case you can see here that is the warm surface of sea water pumped through the heat exchanger which acts you can say uh, as the boiler to vaporize the fluid to the high low uh, high pressure basically you can say and we are using here for the fluid you can say like uh, the ferron 12 or butane or or, or or we can say the ammonia so how to analyze the performance analysis of the OTEC system so if uh, the heat exchangers are the high temperature and uh, and uh, it is the heat sink at the low temperature then that uh, this temperature you can say uh, the difference can be utilized to prime over of the turbine and that can be converted uh, the part of heat into uh, the into the mechanical energy and into the mechanical uh, uh, and then into the electrical energy and this uh, residual heat is discharged to the sink so the maximum possible efficiency of the heat engine uh, uh, working between two temperature limits uh, can't be uh, more than or you can uh, you can say the Carnot cycle uh, operating uh, between the same temperature limit so you can say if the range of the temperature of the warm water is the T1 and the upper surface of layer of the cold water is the T2 so you can say that the depth of the uh, tropical ocean the efficiency can be the Carnot cycle efficiency when efficiency equal to 1 minus T2 upon T1. So if the T1 equal to 20 degree centigrade or, uh, or you can say to, uh, uh, degree centigrade or you can add the 273 kilo uh, so this energy can do Kelvin and T2 is the 5 degree centigrade so you can use the 278 uh, Kelvin and then with the Carnot efficiency you can find out so, so you can use this value in this this uh, formula efficiency 1 minus T2 upon T1 so you can find out that the the Carnot efficiency here for the 7.33 percent so performance and also the OTEC system we can say uh, the natural actual efficiency of the OTEC power plant is less than the Carnot cycle and it is you can say uh, it is given to an OTEC equal to EF into NC. So we, EF is the relative efficiency factor and it will between uh, the 0 0.4 to 0 0.6 and depends upon uh, the requirement. So the if if, if uh, you can take the, an example to uh, to solve this. So if we determine the overall efficiency of the OTEC uh, plant, uh, if the temperature of the warm water is the surface, like a layer is the 30 degree centigrade. So you can find out here a uh, temperature and cold water different tropically ocean 8 degree centigrade it can be assumed that the relative efficiency factor ef of the power plant is 0 0.05 so determine the overall efficiency right so here you can see here that t1 how much t1 is there t1 equal to 30 degree centigrade right t2 equal to 8 degree centigrade Just 
equal to 8 degree centigrade. So we can add the 273 here and do 273. So we can find out 30 plus 273 equal to 303 Kelvin. And here you can say that is 281 Kelvin, right? So T1, T2 is given and EV, what is the EF, what is the value of EF equal to given? 0 0.05, sorry, 0 0.5, right? So, here that is 0 0.5, right? The effect, effective factor. So, we can use this efficiency. So, what is the efficiency of the plant? Uh, the tech plant is? Right, efficiency equal to 1 minus T2 upon T1. So, you can put the value, you can find out the 7.26%. So, the overall efficiency of plant is multiplied by efficiency, efficiency into multiplied by the relative factor, right? Efficiency, efficiency factor. So, you can, when you multiply 0.5 into 0 0.0726, so that is, you can say that is 3.363%. So, we can analyze the performance analysis of this. OTEC system. So, there are some merits we can say the, in the OTEC system. If you develop the any system, so there are some merits and demerits. So, you can see here we can measure the value of ocean thermal energy conversion uh, uh, plant and uh, the continued the OTEC development by the both heats economically and non-economically benefit. The OTEC economic benefits include these. There are some the health produce the fuels such as the hydrogen, ammonia and methanol. Produce the base load electricity energy has significant potential to provide the clean, cost effective efficient electricity uh, for the future. Produce the uh, produce uh, distillated uh, water uh, for the industry, agriculture, and residential uh, uses. Uh, it uh, is a resource for of offshore, onshore, and near shore uh, molecular. Uh, culture operations and provides uh, air condition for the building and provide the moderated temperature refrigerator. So, there are some, uh, these are some uh, the merits of this and uh, uh, some relative merits you can say the benefits, the non-economic benefit which help uh, achieve the glo global environmental goals and this includes uh, basically when the promote the comprehensive uh, uh, competitiveness and uh, international trade, enhance the energy independence and energy security and promote the international we can say its quality stability and has potential to get a greenhouse gas emission resulting one in the fossil fuels so these are some uh, the relative merits uh, there are some merits is also so we can see the demerits in this system is uh, the greater distance of transmission for the cost uh, for uh, the electricity so uh, we can transfer the electricity from the one place to another place. So, they are high distance. So, during this, the transmission cost is very, very high, right? The OTEC plant has uh, the several limits uh, and uh, techno uh, economically, we can say, uh, the constraints. Hence, uh, there the commercial prospects are quite uncertain. Plant is subjected to uh, ocean stream uh, and uh, high waves. It's subjected to a very high stress. And when any person are walking or any team at the, that place, the walking, so they are always the, uh, uh, suffering with the risk, uh, have a, always take a, the risk during this generation. So their problem is there. Second, uh, uh, third one, the salt uh, get, uh, we can say, deposit in the pipes in, and equipment. So therefore, the maintenance is very, very high, or we can say the difficult. So again and again, during the sea area, there are a lot of the salts going inside. So, basically, uh, your uh, equipment has been choked or maybe we can say uh, the uh, maintenance is the very, very high and maintenance has been difficult for that. The plant size is limited about the 100 megawatt due to large size of the component and uh, OTEC technology is, uh, is an infant stage. Uh, OTEC technology is costly and difficult and corrosion of the metal parts due to the saline water. This is a very, very important. So, during this, you can say that is the way with the uh, corrosion, uh, uh, basically, you can say the corrosion uh, uh, has developed in uh, any metal part or uh, maybe some, uh, uh, basically, uh, all using the metal part basically at time, uh, the time of installation. So, uh, 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 this is very, very difficult. So, during this, to maintain or to avoid this corrosion, so there are different technology are using to, and different materials are using which 
uh, prevent the corrosion and LX grow in the pipe and obstruct the water flow. So today, uh, basically, we have discussed here for the OTEC energy for relative uh, different different types of merit, demerit, uh, which type is the better, what is the benefit of there. So uh, today I have in, uh, today in the lecture. So thank you so much. And uh, if you have any uh, query, please call uh, my mail me on my mail ID, pratapali at the rate of akgc.ac.in. I'll reply to it. Thank you.